The first recipe I'm making is an easy green bean casserole. So you take about two pounds of beans and chop off the edges. I chop mine in half too because I like them a little bit smaller and not so big. Next I'm adding two cans of cream of chicken soup and then about three-fourths cup of milk. Then I'm just going to throw about a fourth a cup of Parmesan on top. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, however much you like. And then we're going to add some French fried onions, about three-fourths of the six-ounce container. Then just take a wooden spoon and mix it the best you can. As soon as you're done mixing, just flatten it out the best that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I just like to add a little bit more cheese on top. Next, get the rest of those french fried onions. I crumbled them in my hand before I put them on so there wasn't huge chunks, but if you like the chunks, that's great. And then just put the rest of them on. Now it's time to cook. Put the lid on, on high for three to four hours, or on low, six to eight. When it's done, it will be all nice and golden, ready to eat. The next recipe I'm going to make is called creamy mashed potatoes. Now I'm using an instant pot for this one, but you can use a slow cooker too. So I am putting in five pounds of potatoes, then on top is one cup of water, then I have my milk, about a cup and a half of milk. Now the secret to making your recipes delicious on Thanksgiving is using good butter. I highly suggest Land O'Lakes butter. It just makes the world of a difference. So I have about one cup of butter. It seems like a lot, but that's a lot of potatoes in there. Next I'm just adding two teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. If you are using an instant pot, set it to manual for 10 minutes. If you're using a slow cooker, you can cook it for eight to 10 hours on low or four to five hours on high. Then when it's done, you just take the lid off and I smashed it just right there. Then I added one cup of sour cream and mixed it with my beaters until my potatoes were super soft and smooth. Now you can serve them with your favorite gravy or they have so much flavor you can really eat them all by themselves. The last recipe is slow cooker candied yams. This recipe calls for four large yams or seven small ones. So I just peeled them and chopped them up. Then I just threw them into my slow cooker. First I added about a tablespoon of cinnamon, sprinkled it right on top a teaspoon of nutmeg. Don't forget this, it makes it taste so good. Three-fourths cup of sugar. One-third cup of brown sugar. I love brown sugar. And then two cups of water. Just pour it right on top of the sweet potatoes and all of the sugar. Then I just added a teaspoon of vanilla and just poured it right on top of where my water was. And then, like I said before, the butter makes a big difference with Thanksgiving recipes. So I have about four tablespoons of butter. Then you just put the lid on, cook it on high for about four hours, and it turns out amazing. 